Okay, so I'm back with a better power supply. This one outputs 2 amps, which is more than 20 watts. So let's see if anything wants to blow up. Everything is connected and hopefully 5 volts. Okay, that's okay. And let's try to plug it into an old phone that shouldn't charge at more than 1 amp. Yeah, it goes down. I don't understand this. It says on the website that it should do 2 amps. Hmm. I was able to plug it into this uh, old power bank electronics which is connected to six uh, cells now from a laptop battery so this this charges up but the voltage still drops to five four volts you see so it drops to four volts and this is only taking 500 milliamps That is not good. That means that uh, the real limit of this power supply of this uh, circuitry is like 500 milliamps. And that is really bad because the the bigger one can support 3 amps. This one. And in price they are very close. This bigger one is just half a dollar more expensive. And this can do 3 amps with all these big components and more serious chip. So, yeah, I have to give it a fail. I will leave a bad review for this because this is not even close. This, this, this doesn't do what it says it does. Maybe try to... I will burn down something if I try to increase the voltage now. Oh boy. So yeah, they... On the seller's website, they don't say how much it can output. But uh, I've searched for the part number and the part says that it can support up to 3 amps. Hmm. So it's very much like this stupid <laughs> power supply I bought, which says it can support 2 amps, 12 volt 2 amps, when in fact it can only do like uh, 500 milliamps. So yeah, from that point of view, this is even worse than that crappy power supply. Uh -huh. Okay, I will have to make a charger with... Uh, I don't think I will return this. Because I, I will use it somewhere. But yeah, I will use this one for the charger. To charge my phones at 2 and 1 amps. Through two USB ports. Yeah, this this will be much more appropriate. So yeah. That's it for today and I hope I learned something. I bought this tiny little thing for less than 2 bucks and it allegedly works as well as its bigger brother like uh, this one. The DC to DC step down voltage leg regulator thing. Allegedly, this little guy also supports 3 amps, up to 3 amps. So, yeah, with those tiny little components, I don't know. I want to try it out. I have a, a power bank that can uh, charge at 2 amps. So if I uh, take 12 volts, decrease it to a USB plug to 5 volts and start charging the power bank that should draw more than 2 amps so that will be a good test 
and if it burns down, then we know that it can't support <laughs> 3 amps. That's for sure. If it burns down, yeah. So, yeah, here is the model or whatever you call it, HW133V1 input output that's clear and here are the components let's see if i can focus in on it properly to see the writing and uh, not really yeah maybe wp2402dn something like that Yeah, whatever. It's a cheap, 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 cheap power supply stuff. Oh, this way you can see it a lot better, I think. Yeah, okay. Now you can see it. Yeah, so let's wire it up. I have a 12 volt power supply here that I recently fixed. And uh, the USB maybe i can even get the charge cable here and the power bank should be right under my nose yep it's here this can support oh output 2 amps yeah input is also 2 amps okay so this will be good if i start charging this up let's see the uh, battery status if i press it once yeah, it says it's full, but uh, you can usually start charging it. It's it's probably at 90% or something. Hmm. Yeah, it should charge because this is a big battery. It's like 10,000 milliamp hours, so yeah, it should start charging fast. So, let's just connect the stuff, then set the voltage. You mustn't forget that. So the output goes to the input and it blows up. Uh, yeah, this is the positive and this is the negative. Let's do it a through hole <laughs> to be fancy this one time. I never use, uh, I never solder like that. So yeah, let's do a through hole. This is the negative. Yes. Yes. Oops. Yeah, that got my hand. But uh, it's soldered. <laughs> On the other side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm bad at this. I burned my finger. Let's get some more solder and solder in the other one and take my finger off. That's a bad idea. Don't hurt my finger. Okay. Yeah. And I did these two twists so I can put in the multimeter more easily. Now let's connect the 12 volts. I already connected <laughs> in DIY fashion. I connected it to the plug. I connected these two wires. So let's solder these wires here. Also let's use through hole. So the negative is the white one. Yeah. We need more solder. Let's get more solder. And, man, why am I shaking so bad again? I ate, ate some food today already. So stop shaking. Yeah. That's fine. And the positive, 
well it's a little bent from cutting but yeah it it went in and let's solder it and then plug everything in and set the voltage hopefully i don't know how that will go because this adjuster thing potentiometer or whatever you call it this thing is really small so i don't know how precise it will be it uh, it can do half a turn or a full turn depending on how it's wired it can do a full turn i think but yeah <laughs> that should be interesting so let's put in the measurement points whatever's of the multimeter let's turn it off and on again because it has a standby mode after a certain period it wants to shut off so yeah the negative here the positive here the multimeter here like that am i doing it right i should hold something so it doesn't fall apart or cause a short maybe hold it like that or like this like this and uh, i need uh, something to twist the knob where did i put i got a new screwdriver oh i'll get this one this uh, fits i think yeah it fits okay so we're all set the multimeter is set to 20 volts dc and let's plug in the adapter the crappy one that i fixed let's see how much voltage it puts out oh four volts okay that was closer than i thought and let's try to adjust it up to five It doesn't do anything. What? Oh. <laughs> That's odd. It's almost like this is a digital input for the integrated circuit, for the chip. So at certain values of this uh, potentiometer, it goes up one volt. That that's kind of ingenious. I never thought of it. That that's a good that's a good procedure. That's a good 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 method. I wouldn't have guessed. Okay, five volts. So now let's try to plug in something. yeah let's try the cable fell down let's plug it in try not to short out anything i will just hold it in my hand and uh, yeah like this and let's plug in the power bank that would be fun so I'm holding this in my hand. Oh, what happened? It went up to 9 volts. What? Did I do something? Did I kill the circuits? What happened here? 9 volts. What? This is, this is not funny. Now it's five. I twisted the thing slightly. It must have got, oh yeah. If it gets interrupted. Wow. That's not a good thing. Let's try to replicate it. If I hit the plug. Or I take it out of the... 
I unplugged it, plug it back in, the power supply I mean, it's 5 volts, so, nah, as long as it's 5, I feel comfortable putting it into my power bank, but I don't want to burn it. Okay, I plugged it in and it goes down to 3. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It went down to 3 and it doesn't charge the power bank. That is bad. Really bad. And I can't pull out the cable. Oh boy, this is one of those new cables. Fuck. And this is getting hot a bit. Just a bit. So it went out to 4 volts. I don't understand why. Hmm. Huh. I clearly wanted it to be 5 volts. Five. Okay, five. Let's try to plug it in again. So it wants to draw two amps, with, which is 10 watts. Oh, that's the problem. Crap. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting a crappy phone instead. This can only support one. One amp. Because the power supply is really crappy. Oh. Oops. I plugged in a phone. And it didn't like it. What is happening here? That phone shouldn't want more than 5 volts. Let's get a crappier phone. And burn down that one too. <laughs> no, but seriously. I'm just... This should draw like 500 milliamps. Yeah. It still doesn't want to behave. When I plug it in, it drops down. Okay. I'll have to reconfigure the stuff and try it with the proper power supply. <laughs>